relatives drove a Queens man to head to Haiti yesterday. Tom Yamas talked with him last night at 11, and we wanted to get an update on his search, so we've invited them back. Tom? Chuck and Sue, Clyde Bruel was actually with us as we entered Port-au-Prince this morning. He's been with us every step of the way, and he now joins me live. Clyde, you were there when we rolled into Port-au-Prince and when we saw some of the things we probably thought we'd never see in our lives. Uh, you're Haitian. You're, your family lives here. You're looking for your family. What were your thoughts? Um, you know, it was um, extreme, you know, devastation when we, when we went there. But in the midst of all that, uh, I'm very proud to have Haitian blood running through my uh, veins. The people are so, have a, such a strong spirit uh, and still, you know, uh, are persevering through, you know, going through all of this. When we were in Port-au-Prince, it's virtually impossible to have two million to three million people just wandering the streets. And since so many of the homes and buildings are destroyed, you, you can't find an address. How are you going to try to find your family? Well, uh, what it did was just so overwhelming. I mean, we were, we were going around and we saw that people that were injured were, uh, you know, people were taking strangers in their own cars and acting like, uh, you know, as if there was ambulances and things of that sort. You know, tomorrow we'll try, you know, I'm going to try to figure it out and try to make, you know, go to certain addresses and, uh, you know, make, make do. Claude, you were with me when we interviewed the president of the Dominican Republic and, and he reiterated what uh, the president of Haiti, Ray Preval, told him, 7,000 dead and buried. Do you fear that any of your family members are part of that death toll? Uh, you know, it's, I, you know, I hope not, and what, well, you know, while we were going through the, you know, the streets of Port-au-Prince, and we saw a few, you know, some, some dead bodies, the, the, the smell of dead bodies, and, I mean, it's a difficult thing, I, you know, it's a very difficult thing. Clyde Burrell, thank you so much for your courage and for sharing. He's from uh, Cambria Heights, section of Queens, a very large Haitian-American community there, and he's been uh, roughing it out with us, and he is uh, trying to find his family, and we wish him the best of luck, and hopefully he's a little luck here tomorrow. Chuck and Sue. All right, Tom, thank you. And uh, Tom's been uh, posting tidbits about his...